As tensions rise following the overturn of Roe v. Wade, Vice President Kamala Harris made a visit to Highland Springs today to host a roundtable about reproductive rights. The discussion included input from state legislators and leaders. On your side at 6 tonight, Emily Yinger breaks down the points made by the Vice President and lawmakers and their fight to protect abortion. The conversation follows the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Vice President Kamala Harris says decisions about reproductive rights should be about heart and home without government influence. She should be able to do that if she chooses in consultation with her loved ones, with her physician, with her pastor, her priest, her rabbi, but not have the government telling her what she is supposed to do. The roundtable was held in Highland Springs and was made up of a majority of women lawmakers, some sharing their personal stories as to why they believe so strongly in fighting to protect abortion rights. I was victimized by sexual assault and incest. I am fortunate that no pregnancy resulted. This was in the pre row era. I cannot even begin to imagine what would have happened if I had been forced to have a child at an early age. Harris directed most of the conversation to concerns she has in the Commonwealth about Governor Youngkin's push to make abortion illegal after 15 weeks of pregnancy, with only minimal exceptions in place. Not many solutions were talked about at the beginning of the discussion. There was also a closed portion of the roundtable where press were not allowed to attend. I would also like to be clear that I'm fully aware of the context in which we meet in terms of what this will mean to the people of Virginia and what is at stake directly um, in this state. Right now, abortions in Virginia are legal through the second trimester. They're only legal through the third trimester if it involves the health of the mother. On your side, Emily Yinger, NBC 12 News.